Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hey. Oh, what brings oh. you by? You called me, remember? You said you needed to talk to me right away. Oh. Right, I'm sorry. I'm so preoccupied with work. Hmm. Listen, Felicia and I want you to sit with us at our table at the nurse's ball tomorrow night. I mean, we haven't seen much of each other lately. It'll give us a chance to be together. I'd love to, but, um, I'm sitting with someone else already. Oh, come on, Robin. You see Brenda and Jax every day. It's not them. I'm, I'm sitting at Jason's table with her. You sure he'll be back? Come on, Robin. It's my job to keep tabs on where Jason is. Well, he promised he would be back for the nurse's ball. Besides, he has Michael with him, and he knows he has his wellness visit coming up with his pediatrician. Did you read all this in the paper, or did it uh, come firsthand? There's something that I've been putting off telling you. Jason and I are back together. When Jason was lost, all I could think about is what it would be like if I never saw him again. I love him, Uncle Mac. I need to be with him. Look, Robin, I know you have a special connection with Jason. But all the reasons you had for breaking it off with him before are still valid, even more so now that he's taken over for Sonny. You're right. But the other thing that hasn't changed is that Jason and I want to be together. If there's one thing I learned from Catherine's death, is that life is too short to be afraid. It's also too short to waste on a professional criminal who fathered a child with another woman. No, that's not fair, Mac. Robin knows exactly who Jason is, and she accepts him just the same. And how do you know all that? Because she told me she's seen him again. And you didn't tell me? It's not my place. Yeah, I think it is. Well, it wouldn't have mattered because Jason and I are still together. I deserve the courtesy of a discussion. But to convince me otherwise? Yes, if possible. It's not. She's happy. Isn't that what's most important? Not if it's going to cost her her life. It's not, Uncle Mac. He keeps me safe. He protects me all the time. <laughs> Robin, Jason nearly died not too long ago in my living room. And you were right beside him. Next time, it'll be a car bomb, or they'll shove him down some elevator shaft. And if you happen to be standing next to him, you're going to be just as dead as he is. You're the police commissioner. If some criminal wants you out of the way, you're easy to find. Am I supposed to just stop caring about you because you have a dangerous job? Oh, come on, Robin. Don't compare me to Jason, Excuse ever. Me. I'm sorry. I should have waited. I should have just taken him to lunch or something. No. There's no such thing as a good time to tell Mac about you and Jason. He told the truth, and nobody can fault you for that. Well, not the whole truth. Oh, did you leave something out? Well, I told him that Jason would be back for the nurse's ball. But the truth is, he's been gone a long time, and I haven't heard from him. Hmm. Are you worried? Yeah. Was there any way you can call him? Not really. Well, is there anyone you know who can? Maybe. Well, you should ask that person to call Jason. It's a waste of time to worry, especially if you know you can do something about it. You know what? You're right. I should have done that a long time ago. So I could do everything you wanted me to do, Uncle Mac. Go back to college. Fall in love with some nice guy with a secure future. But I can't. I just want you to be safe and happy. And with Jason, you don't get either. Uncle Mac, I am so... You see the smile on my face? I can't get it off. But if it doesn't last forever, at least I had that. You deserve forever. Robin, you deserve better. I guess Jason and I are the only people that understand how we feel about each other. It may not make sense to you, but it's enough for us. That's the best you can do? Look, Robin, I, I think you're making a mistake. And if there were some way I could stop it from happening, I would. Well, I guess I'll let you get back to work. Look, I want you to call me every hour, on the hour, every day for the rest of your life. Are you serious? Deadly. Once a day. Okay? All right. I'll be careful, I promise.